happening. So today we are going to learn about how to embed your React application into Spring Boot so that whenever you deploy or upgrade a Spring Boot application, your React application also should be up and running on the same port so that whenever you are using a microservice or, or this type of combination in the technology, a full stack technology combination. So whenever you deploy a, a Spring Boot backend with an embedded to React, so there will be only one deployment will happen for your front end and uh, back end both. So that today we'll learn about how to integrate between Spring Boot and the React application with using the same port where your React application will be accessible through the Spring Boot port. So uh, in my earlier video, I explained like how to set up a React application and how to run it. Basically, you can go and view that it's a very simple step to run it out. So now today, I'll, I'll just try to tell you how to create an application on the Spring Boot and the React and how to integrate between those two. Uh, if you look at the spring.io, so you can just go ahead and create a simple application using a Gradle build and then the Java with Spring Boot uh, React application as a name, whatever you want to give. I just added a one dependency that is web dependency that you can see it in my this one so you can see that my dependencies are just of web and application so when you are able to run a simple spring boot application just try to run it as as it's a very simple and basic application try to run the spring boot application now the second step is like now you have to create your react application inside a spring boot and the third step is like make your gradle plugin to uh, identify that particular front end or a react application and uh, boot it and then build it according to your configuration so now what i did is like in the main in the spring boot main application i created as a one as a front end ui as a folder this is normal your folder structure in for a react normal application spring boot application what i did is like i created a one more as a front end ui as a package inside that i have created as a demo app so you just have to go ahead in this particular folder and create uh, create react app with that plugin just create in the node uh, in the command line it, so that it will be created now so just uh, uh, it's a, as good as you are creating outside of any uh, uh, spring boot application normal react application the same as you have to just go to this folder and create this react application so now what i did is like i just went ahead to this folder and created this uh, react application using the create react command so it is created now so the next step is like how you make sure that this react app or Rix react files are, are embedded into java whenever you build your application as a spring boot application and deploy it so what i did is like i used the git node gradle so this is the node version so this is the sorry uh, plugin version i'm using 3.5.0 this is the plugin i'm using to make uh, use of this integration so that com dot github dot node gradle dot node version 3.5.0 currently i'm using that plugin and this is the normal your Spring Boot application version. So next, these are the very few important uh, uh, Git setups or uh, Git uh, configuration you need to make. So now I did it as a node. So we are using, uh, of course, the React is, is using the node over there. So node plugin we are have it here. So in that download is equal to false. So what I'm trying to do is like download is equal to false in sense. You don't need to download a node and other plugins over there because already downloaded node and uh, run a React application outside of this. So we already have so I, I just kept it as a false so what you have to indicate these are the working directory where your folder of a react project is, is resides so that it's a working directory src main front end ui demo app it's a node.js so that it will identify that particular uh, a node and the npm working directory is, is almost a similar it's a demo app under the npm so these are the your node and node models and npms everything so it will automatically identify your working directory and node models directly so this is the src main front end demo app so you can see src main front end demo app is my uh, demo of my application name of react so that i added it here so just you have to mention the working directories to identify the particular plugins and everything to run it out so next is like you have to create uh, some task of the npm task so uh, for this you require a basic knowledge of a gradle i assume that you have that so it's a very simple one so what we did is like first we have to add the uh, npm task for the npm install so that there is again we have to create a working directory where it is so arguments like install and debug which i have given it for now you can give others as well here so second task is like npm build so once you install you have to build that project so that your all the files will be created all the modules and everything essence will be created under the yours everything so it's just a you have to building your 
already created app there so now what you have to do so once you create build and everything right it will be created in the demo app build folder so everything if you see in the build app so it's a uh, build app you will have all the files everything is required so what you have to do is like so to to identify these at the runtime while your uh, spring boot application is running what it is like i have copied from your node node folder so or, or maybe react folder build folders to i copied into the main build folder so that whenever you are deploying your react application your spring boot application it will be identified that it will be picked up from there so you can see from the build from this build to i copied to static so you can see this is the way we can see its resources under the resources and the static so it will be copied in the runtime uh, application so when you're in the runtime it will be copied all those files into that particular build folder so what i'm to do to these all the tasks how it is uh, interconnected is like whenever you want to run an npm build it depends on the npm install has to happen first so to copy so npm and build so again so npm is also now copy to front end has a npm build dependency so compile java it depends on the copy to front end so it's just like a sequence of events what you want to do from or from these tasks which you configure it here so when npm install happens from the npm for to npm build happens npm build happens to you will copy all the files from uh, front end so i just give it as a copy to front end so that it will copy to the particular folder that after that it will compile the java code so so it will it will happen in a sequence everything so these are the three main uh, sections you can easily view these uh, everything and the dependencies of normal uh, spring boot dependencies currently what i am having it here it's just like open api swagger dependency i've added and just a web dependency here so these three sections you, it is very important like how you configure your working directory and what all the npm task you will perform as a part of the gradle build so whenever you are Uh, running the gradle build it will perform all the actors if you see i already running this application because it it will take a little bit time for the first time running so you can see task it will be like npm set, node setup i have given as a false let's just skip so now task is npm install so it will come to npm install install there then go to npm build then come to copy to the fields everything so you can see all the npm build and everything it is a like production tiles build everything so it is clearly telling you everything uh, what you generally run manually in your uh, react application so it's just everything it will start then after that it will start the spring boot run application so that is nothing but our spring boot how you run a spring boot so that is uh, everything so once you run this application everything so once you do that so you'll be able to see localhost 9001 index.html when you hit it so you're able to see your react application which is running on the spring boot port so i'll just show you the port uh where it is configured for me i configured the port as 9011 so you can see the react application running is is on the 9011 port as well so index.html so this is the basic how you set up and run this is a very basic uh, uh, embedding your react application in the upcoming videos i'll show you as well and everything i have documented into my documentation this one as well post as well you can see uh, this post and and just get it to Uh, each and every details is, is it has here, so you can just go ahead and uh, refer this documentation as well. I'll attach into the comments in the description in the video as well. So I'll next I'll I'll come up with a uh, next set of videos on the React Spring Boot application and then microservices uh, integration and everything. So we'll go step by step. So uh, thank you, thanks a lot.